So this is a guide bushing project. It's made out of white oak and it's used for routing along templates. This is a Bosch router and it's got a plunge base and there are commercially available bushing kits for this but they cost about $48 last time I looked and then plus taxes and shipping it's upwards of we'll say like $55. Uh, my guide bushing project is a $2.50 material cost that's really just the hardware cost because the wood is uh, scrap and it's free. So there's two parts to this bushing guide. There's this plate part which has a one inch dowel that's glued to the center and that is the bushing itself. It just hasn't been routed out yet. And so then there are one inch countersunk screws that fit into these two holes here in the plate. And those guys are countersunk as well. And those are what's used to secure it to the base part. And flipping that over, what we've got is some flat washers that are used because these screws are pretty close to the edge. And we wanna use a flat washer to clamp down on this side of the wood rather than on this side. So that makes it really secure. So we use those and then I'm using these lock nuts with nylon insert for two reasons. One is for size constraints. I can't use things like uh, larger wing nuts because they'll get into this area right here, which is for the large nut that's used to secure the drill bits themselves. So that nut will fit down into this area. So all of this needs to stay clear. And then the second reason is because when you're routing, of course, there's lots of vibrations and I, I don't want any concerns about this hardware coming loose. So the downside with using this is that you're going to need a screwdriver and either a wrench or a ratchet to secure these lock nuts, but they're not coming loose once you get them installed. So I'm not really going to in install those lock nuts on the video. Um, but okay, once you get it to this point and you got those lock nuts installed, uh, you'll go ahead and drop this into your plunge base and then you'll take another two sets of the exact same hardware and then you'll install the, the bushing base part to your plunge base itself and really that's it once you get that there then that's it so i'm not going to show you know installing all that hardware completely it's more of just kind of give you guys an idea of what this looks like but I, I do want to talk a little bit more about um, one last part that I, I made with this is that's this little template part. And really all that is is um, a quarter inch drill hole at the center of it with a quarter inch dowel. And you can kind of see the back side of this plate. There's a quarter inch hole here. And I just, I use that to make these guys together. And then there's really two small drill holes right here which are used as pilots for drilling these holes here which are for securing to the base. So really it's just a, a way that you can more quickly make another another one of these um, plates so that you can use different size diameters of dowels or the bushings, we'll call them bushings. Um, you can also change, customize the thickness of the bushing. So it's just a way to make these a little bit quicker. One other last little detail I'll mention is that when I was drilling the hole in this plate for the doweling, I used the Forstner bit, but I didn't drill all the way through. I drilled up to about 16th of an inch of the back side right here. And the, the reason why I did that was that it, it just provides a lot more uh, surface, gluing surface area for securing this dowel. I don't really see that as a big issue because when you're doing the templates, all the force is going to be in this direction right here. And this dowel is going to be held pretty strongly in this direction. So I don't really see any, any concerns with uh, that. So the next part of this video is going to be a clip of using this guide bushing on an upcoming project. This is with the V-Groove bit plunged through the one inch doweling to form a bushing now. This thickness here is going to need to be more thick than if it was metal, but I think this will 
work just fine for my usages. Let me know if you have any feedback or improvements for this project, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.